This week on Canada in the Rough, we're hunting turkeys in Ontario. Since the reintroduction of the eastern wild turkey in the 1980s, the turkey population has been growing with huge success, and more and more people are learning just how much fun turkey hunting is. <laughs> this week, all three Beasley brothers are focusing around the most important tactic that leads to their success in the turkey woods, and that's scouting. They'll be talking about exactly what they do and where they look to find turkeys. They'll be joined by Rob Argue from Eastern Canadian Outfitters, who has been outfitting for turkeys in Ontario for many years now, as they do a little preseason scouting. Join us for a very informative and exciting turkey episode, as the Beasley brothers are each after a Tom Turkey, this week on Canada in the Rough. Well, we're just out checking cameras for the upcoming turkey season and a lot of times we get asked on Facebook or by email why we're successful when we're turkey hunting and the number one reason we think we're successful is because we do a lot of scouting. We do a lot of driving, a lot of glassing, we set up our blinds ahead of time but the other thing we do is the night before we go out we're always trying to roost the birds. We want to know where they are in the trees so that when we go and we get set up we know we're going to be on birds the next morning and actually keith was out scouting last week with rob argue from eastern canadian outfitters who actually guides for turkeys just a couple hours outside of ottawa in eastern ontario and they found us some birds that should help us this year and i know if you get out there and do a lot of scouting it's going to help you in the turkey woods this year you know all the part about turkey it's not just great because spring's here but the scouting, the, the planning, the getting out there, it's just exciting. I know my brothers and I, like you, agree that it's just a wonderful opportunity. 20 years ago, we didn't have this, and turkeys, the Eastern Canadian turkey has exploded. You're right, it's something different, and it's a great time of year to be out. As you said, non-residents, Americans, people from out of province can come. You know, it's relatively easy to get into. Uh, property access isn't always easy, but that's why sometimes it's nice to go through an outfitter where we already have that locked up. A lot of first time hunters that come, I can talk them through how to do the calls, why I call, when, um, setups, that sort of thing. Absolutely. So it's a great opportunity for people to start. Totally agree with you. Bittersweet. Shot, though. That we was were hoping for shot. a double and he wasn't there. You know what though, I mean, we scouted last night, saw the two toms go this way with a bunch of jakes. Yeah. You'd think they'd be back yeah. in the morning, but 
It doesn't always work. At this stage of the game, it's just fun to be out. Uh, absolutely. Look, at we had birds gobbling down here. We had birds gobbling over here. We had birds gobbling over here. It just so happened this group worked in. I mean, our other Tom could be over here or anywhere. Let's go get him. It's exciting. <laughs> There's that flight control wad. Oh. Check you know what? Out. That heavyweight stuff has been incredible. Has Look it, at though? this bird. He is a big bird, Paul. He's a big bird. We've got to weigh that thing. Look at the size of him. <laughs> There's a big, heavy bird. You know what? This this has been a fun. It's always fun to hunt with your brother, and, and Paul let me pull the trigger today. But this is a great example. People see us hunting in so many different scenarios, especially for turkey. Sometimes we're near the roost, sometimes we're not. Everything has a strategy for us. This is a great example. We're two to three hundred yards away from yeah, the roost. Absolutely. Could hear distant gobbles. Yeah but knew where they were coming. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, they worked through that hardwoods perfectly, but it was funny. It wasn't until we started walking through that I noticed there's a page wire fence right there. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people will tell you birds will not cross a page wire fence. They think that's a barrier. They think, it's this a, field. Yeah, they yeah. think you've got to be set up on the other side of it or be able to shoot through it. Yeah. That's not true. Those birds knew that there was a gap right there in that fence, a little, you know, where they could go under it. Came right through. They came right through yeah. like it was nothing. On foil. And back to what we love to talk about, getting to a place that has amazing hunting. And here in Ontario, we have an Eastern Canadian turkey and we're getting calls from all over us because people want to come and experience this and we encourage anybody to do it. It's, it's just one of our favorite things to do. Get out oh, in the spring I, and, and hunt. And this is a giant. It He's really heavy, is. big mature bird, big spurs. Yeah, it's probably and, a three or four year old bird. Uh, just a beauty, beauty. Well, let's get them tagged up and go for breakfast. All right, sounds good. Well, last night we went and checked out another spot and it was absolutely loaded. Probably more than 20 birds in there. We watched them go to bed and uh, where they went to bed though, there was no blind that we have set up close by. So we're gonna go in nice and early this morning. We're gonna set up a blind. With these big number of birds though, I find it really tough to pull birds away from a big group like this, but maybe with some cooperation on their part, we'll have some success this morning.
just when you think your hunt's over, those two toms are leaving, going over the ridge, and all of a sudden they start coming back. He came straight in, bumped up against the Jake, and then I was able to make the shot. He looks like he was hit hard. He looks like he was stumbling over there, and then he started to get up and flew. He just went to the edge of the woods. We'll give him a bit of time, and then we'll go grab him. But that was exciting. I cannot believe the blood trail. Like, look at this. I've still got an arrow knocked on my arrow just because he could still be alive. But with all this blood, I, I highly doubt it. So that's the tree I had landmarked for him landing somewhere around here. We have lots of blood here. Some good blood here still. There he is, right there. <laughs> oh, wow, look at all the blood. Oh, and there's a fence here. Look, look at all the flapping. He must have got stopped right there at the fence, couldn't make it through, and expired right here. Holy jumpins, was that ever exciting. Let's get a look at these spurs. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a giant. Holy jumpins, look at those things. That is huge. Holy jump, I'll be excited to get this back and show the boys, but let's get a tag in them and we'll get them back to the truck. He's down, he is down. Oh my goodness, what a morning. That happened so fast. It's 5.40 a.m. Uh, Jake's not leaving, he's still sticking around. It's 5.40 a.m. That, that was an unbelievably quick morning. You know, not all hunts work this, this quickly and this easily, but this was literally like we mixed all the right ingredients together and the result was perfect. That bird came by us at like, I don't know what that is, maybe 10 feet? 
But you know what, with these blinds and being all dressed in black, those birds walked by us and had absolutely no clue that we were here. Absolutely awesome. And to watch them beat up that decoy like that again, I just love hunting over full body decoys. They just, it brings them in, just sucks them right in. Absolutely awesome. Give those birds a second to work off and then we'll go have a look at them. Alright, what an absolutely beautiful bird. You know, it is so funny. I have shot quite a few toms with these white specks in their tail fan. It's not all that common, yet for some reason I have shot quite a few of them over the years. And in different parts of the province too. It's not even like it's a genetic thing in one area. But uh, just an absolutely beautiful bird and a beautiful morning. I absolutely love the opportunity to get out in the springtime. You see the blossoms popping. You see the the uh, you know the deer with their shedding their winter coats. These these turkeys are so active and so vocal. I mean this this bird is one that we've been watching for almost a week now. Just about every single day we've been scouting him and seeing him using this using this patch of woods and this, uh, this these fields. And he's just been so consistent and patternable. And that's one of the great things about turkeys. If you do your homework and you scout hard, whether it's using trail cameras or just using your binos from the road or on, on you know from the fields you can really uh, you can really hone in on where these animals are spending a lot of their time and that's exactly what we did so we came in yesterday afternoon during the midday hours when we knew the birds wouldn't be right here and uh, set up the set up this ground blind and as you saw they walked right past it within 10 feet the hunt just worked to perfection and while it doesn't always work that way we sure were blessed with a great time this is a great old bird he's got huge hooks for spurs this is what you call a true limb hanger just a gorgeous gorgeous bird beautiful beard you know we had a pretty icy winter and uh, a lot of the beards got sort of, you know, are pretty much in the same nine, nine and a half inch range um, because I think the, the winter was just took a toll on, on them and wears them down. But uh, what a great bird. So I'm excited. I'm going to go uh, grab my tag, get him tagged up, and I'll go get the uh, grizzly and we'll, uh, we'll get him back and get him cleaned. What a great morning. Well folks, if you've been following my brothers and I adventures long enough, it's no secret that we love the spring and we love the turkey hunt. And this episode was no different. It wasn't that long ago as kids, we couldn't hunt wild turkeys because we didn't have them here in Ontario. About 12, 13 years ago, my brothers and I took our first wild turkey. And it's been every year since then an extreme passion of ours. But the key to our success has always been the same thing. Good calling, patience, decoying, but scouting, 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 scouting. And Rob Argue from Eastern Ontario Outfitters was able to come, join us for the preseason, make some plans, help us out where the birds go to bed, where they're gonna be, and some strategy. And if you haven't had the chance to come to Ontario to hunt wild turkeys, you have to do it. If you live here and need an excuse to go do it again, you're from the US or other parts of Canada overseas, you gotta come to this beautiful province. We're so proud to be from here and so proud of this hunting heritage that we have and this turkey hunt. You gotta come and experience. And Rob is the guy because he can sleep you, feed you, and get you on a tremendous hunt. I'm your host, Keith Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily original content from our adventures across Canada.